When God decides that something is no longer for you, He will not let you have peace with it. No matter how much you want it to work, how much effort you put into it, how much care you put into it. And most of the time, He will not take it out of your life. He will let you hold on to it until holding on to that thing is damaging you emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and sometimes even physically until the only option for you will be to let go. Hello, my darling from your nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi de Salivold. <laughs> For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. How are you, my darlings? I decided to come out here and give you a little leather. It's just a leather top as a matter of fact, and I'm just wearing leggings, but I am living and loving. There you go. It's a one shoulder and I am living and loving. Yes, my darling. This is Ula's bondage for the day. <laughs> As soon as I finish this episode, I'm going to go to him and be like, Ooski Kabooski, hi, honey. <laughs> it's an old blouse, and I think I got it in H&M. Um, H&M or, or Mango, I think. I like leather pieces, you know, and then I just wear different textures, and this is just so fun. I actually would wear a jacket over this, yeah, to a conference meeting, and then during lunch, da 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 <laughs> how are you my darlings well it is goodbye to color dream color dream is a beauty brand that i lived and loved i loved Lorraine. Lorraine was a phenomenal ceo and um, they're closing their doors after 12 years i got the email the other day and i was like ah the beauty industry has changed I used to do a lot of beauty on this channel, but the beauty industry has changed. And this is a camcord of which I use today. Everything on their website is going for $2.50. Can you see how gorgeous this palette is? And it is phenomenal. It's creamy, pigmented, and beautiful. I just love the camera. Thank you, Color Dream, for all that you gave us, for women of color, for me especially, where there were not many brands that had really pigmented shades. You and Juvia's Please, you were my top two. I wish you the best in all endeavors, Lorraine, and I know that you will go on to do greater things. You left at the top, and it's at the top that we will continue to look up to you. Farewell, my sister, in relation to this brand. Congratulations for all that you did, for everything that you did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My discount code was FUMI. I don't know if it still works. If it still works, use it in order to get everything on the website now for $2.50. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Color Dream, for a phenomenal time and um, exciting years for sure from that 2015 all the way till like 2022 so it was seven years and they were out here for 12. all right my darlings why are we here oh, it has been emotional as you guys know and so we're just trying to get our catch our bearings and in so doing we have christian king combs the son of uh, Kim Porter and Diddy coming out here in these streets talking about he is going to take over the father's Instagram That's King Kong and right now I'm taking over my pops Instagram We're gonna be posting videos by spreading, you know, good energy and taking y'all down memory lane all the positive things he did So stay tuned and watch this. Let's go. We love you pops. Happy birthday. Diddy is incarcerated in the Brooklyn jail and the sons are out here trifling. That's just the only way I can say it. The other day I covered the story of how the Combs brothers tried to uh, <laughs> take Ray J down, grab him by the backpack 
no respect uncle reggie as a matter of fact until uncle chris brown came in and intervened so here we have uh christian again talking about he wants to ignite the legacy of his father you know remind everybody of all the wonderful things that he did and he's going to take over the instagram and start posting so this is the advice that i'm going to give christian Coles. christian you are young and you're very much a young boy by the way that you are behaving i also have empathy for you because I think that you feel so lost. Your mother has passed away and your father's behind bars. You don't know what to do on a daily basis. And I'm sure the mornings are tough because you have the whole day in front of you and there is no structure, there's no discipline, there's no routine. You are just on a free fall and you love your father as you should regardless of whatever he has done blood is thicker than water but let me give you some advice i strongly suggest because it's evident that there's nobody around you to give you any kind of discipline or guidance you have to start learning some kind of trade go to school take some classes you're going to need it because this is not the way. Your father did great things, a billion percent correct. And that was why this story was big. Because we, I, did not expect him to do the things that he is allegedly accused of. And while I had my reservations, I could not deny when I saw the video of himself and Cassie. That he is guilty of. Everything else is going to air out in court. But you have to be a gentleman and a man of reasoning and understanding because the responsibilities are now on you and your brothers to take care of business, to take care of the running of the home, the daily activity of the home, and that includes your staff, your drivers, your publicity. That's where you should focus on. You should also for the good will of what we saw with Cassie, and we have heard that Diddy did to your mother, Kim Porter, you should advocate for women that have been abused in relationships. If you came out with that alone, then a lot of us, myself, we would look across the room and say, he is the son, but he might be cut from a different cloth. Because, you see, your father is struggling to get bail. And he has put up the house, 50 million. He has put up this, that, and the third. But we are not sure why. Because you, who he claims to be in the a company with, are just showing straight up buffoonery. That's all I can say. Foolishness, childishness, and nonsense. In the climate and temperature of what America is going through now, the best thing that you came out with, I'm going to reignite my daddy's Instagram. I'm going to remind all of you all, like we don't have other issues and problems to deal with right now. Do you see how you come off as somebody who should just be pushed aside? It doesn't look good for your father. It doesn't look good for the family. It does not look good because what you show us is how we are going to take it and judge you and the situation over there in Beverly Hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have time for the nonsense. And Christian, we don't have time for you. Not right now. Not with what you have to tell us. No, we don't. No, we don't. Sit yourself down, stay off social media, and try to figure this out. And I would go to my elders. That's what we do in Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go to your elders, you go to the elderly, because we've been around this block a couple of times. I give you some sort of advice. I strongly suggest that you dress up and look smart at all times and you don't show your little muscles out there 
and you and your brothers want to be the three amigos and be jumping out in the streets and be attacking your uncles that's not a good look because then we say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree you see we elders we have a saying for everything <laughs> you are attached or you are detached it will all be according to what you show us. It will all be according to your behavior. And your behavior so far has shown buffoonery and denial. And that's not working for you. That's not working for anybody at all. Because right now, the family has to be unified. Because what your father has been accused of are very serious, serious, serious crimes. And we have a book apparently that is supposed to be from your mom a memoir of what happened before you were born while you were born while you were a little boy then we have grandma out here in these streets keeping other people's money and coin we also have out here in these streets might not be puffy's mama it was all in the group chat also known as the comment section that that's the auntie I don't think it's true because Janice Combs, she has the last name, which is Marvin Combs, your papa, who had his hands knee deep with a drug lord. And he passed away in Central Park, unbeknownst to him. Po po. Do you understand? That's why I said you're going through a lot. Your lineage is not giving you a chance. Now you have to give yourself a chance. Now you have to be mother and father to yourself and to your siblings and give this next generation a chance because your father's generation, your grandpa's generation are not giving you chances of which you truly deserve. And so I think that you miss your father. I think that you want to be in jail with him, not be in jail, but be with him. And since he's in jail, you don't mind going there. That's not the way to go. This rough time will pass. It will what? It will pass. And we out here, aunties and uncles, we have very short memories. That was then we're moving on to another distraction because that's what life is. Settle down. Find a mentor. Scratch all of the previous plans. And if it was daddy in jail who said, come out here and reignite my Instagram, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Because we have to care about the victims. Because a lot of the victims are younger than you, Christian. They're younger than you. They did not have the privilege you had to be drinking smoothies, riding bicycles, and going on holidays to Capri and the like of places that you can't even spell. I'm under the impression since this is your latest venture. That's who we're looking at. Those are who we're fighting for. And it's a long shopping list, baby. So get to the gym, start to get some discipline, step and repeat, and don't come out here in these streets talking about you want to do this and that. Why? Because your uncles and aunties are not interested. And your age group, they have such a short memory that they are off on TikTok where it's, you know, 30 seconds and that's it. That's all I got to tell you. Other than that, hey, what can I tell you? Whoop de woo. It's another day out here in these social media streets and nobody is showing you any kind of love because you're not trying to love yourself. Darlings, do not forget to like to subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you. What? <laughs> I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. Thank you.